As the region mourns the loss of Sergeant Rose, Detroit officers once again come under fire, uh, reminding us just how dangerous an officer's job is. It really is dangerous, and this is the second time in 24 hours shots have been fired at officers in the city. This latest incident happened overnight on the east side near I-75 and State Fair. Detroit's chief calling it a fierce gun battle. Let's get to Sean Lay live, and Sean, you've got some new information concerning this incident. Good evening, Kimberly. There is more to this story. First and foremost, the three officers standing right out here on this street, they could have been killed, fired upon in this direction. They fired back at that gunman. At the same time, firing at that gunman, those officers also fired and hit this house. The family inside that house, they had to take cover. It was an ambush on Hall Street just off of East State Fair. Three Detroit police officers in uniform stopped to talk to a man in the middle of the street when a man across the street up on a porch opens fire on the police. Chief Craig furious that his officers coming under fire once again and could have been killed. He was on his front porch. Why would you shoot at a police officer from your front porch? Five shots fired at those officers in all. The gunman's semi-automatic handgun stovepiped or jammed or more shots would have been fired. That gunman is 45 years old, got out of prison this year after doing 25 years for murder. He didn't hit the officers, but did hit this house across the street. Police returned fire, hitting the man several times. But those return shots also hit this white house. Inside, 10-year-old Kylia and 5-year-old Deontay, the kids and their father, ran to the upstairs of the home to take cover. They weren't hit, but their grandmother tells me one shot went right into her granddaughter's bedroom. Y'all had no knowledge of where the people were in, in his home, and that's unfair to them. It was a gun battle. The easiest way for me to describe the officers and this suspect were in a gun battle, a fierce gun battle, and the thing that may have saved our officers is the fact that the suspect's gun jammed. Back here live, these officers taking fire from that front porch to the middle of the street. That's about 20 feet. These three officers very fortunate tonight. No one hurt inside the innocent folks home. The gunman, he's expected to be charged tomorrow. We're live on Detroit's east side tonight. Sean Lake, Local 4. All right, Sean.